For this lesson, we will solve division problems without remainders using the area model. Here we're asked to decompose 56 divided by 4 from whole to part. Well, I'm dividing by 4. And what is it that I'm dividing by 4? 56. So I will put a 56 inside of our area model there, inside that rectangle. And then above it, I'm going to write the question mark, because that's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's rethink this, and then where it is that we will decompose our answer. So we're going to draw the same size rectangle right underneath it, where it is that we're taking that same amount, which was 56, but we're decomposing it. And then so, so when we're decomposing it, we're going to break it down, and we're going to break that down further. We're dividing by 4, so we're dividing those 5 tens by 4, where we would distribute how many of those tens? We would distribute 4 of those tens, and the 4 of those tens is worth what? Right, 40. So we're actually breaking this down into 40, along with what number? gives us 56. Right, 16. The 4 stays the same, so we're able to actually figure out each of those numbers. What times 4 gave you 40? Right, 10. And then what times 4 gives you 16? Right, 4. And when we put those two together, 10 and 4, what do we get? Right, we get 14, which we will write up here as our answer. Let's think about this again. So we took 56, and we decomposed it and broke it apart into what and what. Right, 40 and 16. And when we were looking at 40 and 16, what were we dividing by? Right. Because we're dividing 56 by 4, so we're also dividing 40 by 4 and 16 by 4. When we divide 40 divided by 4, what is it that we get? Right, 10. And when you divide 16 by 4, what do you get? Right, 4. And then remember, we're adding those together. 10 and 4 does give us 14. Here, we're asked to decompose 72 divided by 3. So we'll start with that same process where we'll draw the area model for the whole thing. And what were we dividing? Right, 72. Because we're trying to think what times 3 does give us 72. And then so we, this is what our whole one right here that we have here that we're trying to figure out. Let's look at it a little different way, in that we'll go ahead and show that our thinking, as we are going through this process, yes, we're taking the 7 here and the 7 tens, and we're dividing it by 3. And what do we get there? Did you say 2? So there would be 2 tens there. So what does this mean for our area model? Well, what that means, the 3 still stays the same, because that's what I was dividing by. And this, then, is 20. And to figure out the area of that rectangle there, that's 20 times 3, which is 60. So I just have part of my rectangle at this point, 60 of the 72. And then so the rest of that rectangle there, 60, and how many more gives us 72? Well, that's 12. Look where this 12 comes in, in our long division with our standard algorithm. 2 times 3 was 6, 7 minus 6 was 1, and I bring down the 2. Hey look, 12, 12. That 6 that we are subtracting is actually um, 6d, because it was from those 6 tens that we were able to distribute. 12 divided by 3 does give us 4, and that's why this here is 4. So, <clears throat> we have 20 here, 4 here, and so that is 20 plus 4, 
which is 24. So our check there would be 24 times 3, which does give us 72. We also can decompose it one more time, showing our division work. We took the number 72, and we broke it apart first into 60 and 12. So we write that out, 60 and 12. What were we dividing 72 by? Right, we were dividing 72 by 3. That's why it is that we would take 60 divided by 3, along with 12 divided by 3, and we would add those two amounts together. That's how we found that missing side. 60 divided by 3 is 20, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 20 and 4 is 24. So we're decomposing those from a whole to a part. Okay, it's your turn. Here I have an area model. What division equation is being modeled? Can you make a number bond for it? So what's the division equation that's being modeled? And then make a number bond for it. Showing the division work. Pause that video while you finish your work. Did you say 81? And did you know that you were dividing by 3? So 60 divided by 3 is 20. 21 divided by 3 is 7. What would you do with those two numbers? Right, you would add them together. 20 and 7 is 27. Our division equation, sure, that answer that we just had there was 27. And what we would do is that was 81, and we were dividing by 3 to get 27. So the division equation is 81 divided by 3 equals 27. And what I had stated before is for you to draw a number bond as well. We showed our written work as well. Let me show you one last example. Okay, so we still have your area model, and then so we have 5 here, we have 10 here, and then we have 4 here. I'm going to draw it underneath it as well, a duplicate of it. Alright, well, let's fill it in. What are we dividing? Well, it's 5 times 10 is 50. <clears throat> 5 times 4 is 20. So we put it all together. That's the same size then. It is 70. And what are we dividing by? Well, that's right here, which is 5. So it's really 70 divided by 5. And it looks like that answer is 10 with 4 more, which is 14. Let's show that long division and our written work for this problem. 5 goes into 7 one whole time. 1 times 5 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Bring down the 0. 20 divided by 5 is 4 because 4 times 5 is 20 and 20 minus 20 is 0. Let's show a number bond. What were we dividing? Right, 70. And we broke it down into... 50 and 20. When we were dividing, at that point, we took 50, or divided by 5, and we also took 20 and divided it by 5. Put an addition sign in the middle, and we evaluated those. 50 divided by 5 is 10, 20 divided by 5 is 4, add them together, you do get 14. So this is just another way that we can go ahead and look at these area models to help us work through these problems. 
to better understand how it is that this division works.